In this video, we'll be going through an overview of the major functionality that is available within Optum CNC Plasma System software, as well as a quick look into all of the buttons that are available within this Plasma System software profile. This is meant to be a cursory glance at the profile, with most of the features described in this video having their own dedicated videos that go into detail regarding all of the functions. However, let us start with the main menu of the system that is available in the top left corner. Upon clicking on it, you are shown the log, machine setup, minimize close app, and shut down buttons. The log shows the system log with all the messages that the system provides, such as the message for when your program is loaded into the system, uh, your cut chart messages, potential errors, etc. The machine setup screen allows the operator to quickly change the gear and the size of the plasma system. For instance, here I have a 4x4 with standard 1 to 1 gear ratio. The minimize button will minimize the program into the system tray to bring the program back onto the screen. Click onto the system tray icon for Optum CNC. The close app button brings up a confirmation window. If you click accept, the program will be closed. The shutdown button will turn off machine power and shut down the computer. Click Accept or Decline. Next, we have the CAM button. The CAM button allows the operator to import a DXF file into the system. This functionality is described in detail in the Import DXF video. Close the window by pressing the red button in the top right corner. The import button allows the user to import a g-code file. This will open a file picker from which you can select the file and then confirm by clicking the accept button in the top right corner. This functionality is described in depth in the import g-code video. The Refresh button will refresh the program file. The ruler allows the operator to quickly show the dimensions of the file for the length of the file and the width of the file. Click it again to hide the dimensions. The Help window brings up a Help dialog onto the screen. The homing window shows the information for automatic and manual homing, as well as your software limits. The information on these buttons is available within the homing video. The G-code tab, which is available as a side panel on the right side of the screen, and which can be brought in and out by using these buttons, contains the currently loaded file with the file path, as well as the g-code of that file and the ability to navigate within that file by going either line by line, by skipping forward or backwards up by 10 lines, or by going to your next or previous part. It also shows the current program process, the elapsed time, and the estimated time for the program to complete. Within this G-Code tab, you also have the keyboard, or the MDI widget. This widget allows you to enter commands manually and is described in further detail within the MDI video. Next is the Plasma tab, which allows the operator to load a cutting mode based on the current process, material, thickness, and process current from the built-in cut charts. 
It also allows the operator to edit the cutting parameters and to save and delete different modes. More information on this tab is available within the cut charts video. Next, we have the advanced tab, which contains the speed settings for your cutting, jog, and simulation speeds, as well as the ability to rotate your part and to perform an AB cut or a manual cut between points A and B. This functionality is further described in the rotation and AB cut videos. The advanced tab also contains the button to show the parking presets. This functionality is described in the parking video in more detail and it allows the user to save and load different locations on the machine to quickly move to them when needed. This tab also contains the diagnostics window that shows the state of your inputs and outputs and all the other ports on the machine and you can learn more about it within the diagnostics video. Within the advanced tab the user can also open the plasma settings window that contains settings for the torch height control. These include things such as your pierce time, pierce height, THC start delay, the ability to uh, set the initial height control cutting height, etc. And this functionality is described in the automatic THC video as well as the THC and IHC sensors video. Finally, we also have the system log button that simply brings up the same log window from the main menu as we've already described. On the rightmost side of the Optimum CNC Plasma screen, you have the coordinates tab. This tab contains the coordinates for the X, Y, and Z axes. These include your machine coordinates, or the actual real position on the machine, as well as the work offset for these axes. More information on the coordinates tab can be found in the coordinates video. Below it, we have the jog controls tab. This allows us to move our machine in the X, Y, and Z directions, as well as set the current step size value or set a speed override for our jogging speed. More information on this entire section is available within the jogging video. The inputs and outputs section right below allows the operator to turn torch height control and initial height control on or off, as well as to monitor the arc, ready, floating head, and omic sensors. It also allows the operator to check the current arc voltage reading, as well as check the reference voltage reading. This can be toggled between the reference voltage from your cut charts or your automatic reference voltage. This section should be studied more within the torch height control video, which I've already mentioned, both for the THC and IHC sensors video and the automatic THC video. Next, we have the work offset section. This contains of buttons for trace job or move around the perimeter of the currently loaded file. More information on this in the frame video. We have the torch probe button, which allows us to touch the surface of the material to probe where the material is, with more information on it available in the probe video. There is the torch fire button that allows us to fire the plasma to enable it to turn it on or off with more information in the fire video. 
And there's also the simulation toggle that allows the operator to enable simulation of the program that will let the system run through the currently loaded control file without actually cutting the working material. To find out more about it, please consult the simulation video. On the right here, we have the ability to set the work offset of the program by binding the current working point to a specific corner on the perimeter of the currently loaded file, as well as the e-stop. You can find out more about it within the work offset and the e-stop videos. In the bottom right corner, we have the program controls that allow us to reset the program to its beginning, to return to toolpath or to the working point, wherever that is. Let's say if we have paused the program and moved away and to bind the start of the control program to the current operating point. This also features the stop and play buttons. Finally, we have the ability to update the software, the firmware, or the profile, or to update the software locally by using a USB stick. By clicking upon this Optimum Control Systems logo in the top right corner, more information on this specific window is available within the updating software video. This brings us to the end of our overview of the main functionality of Optimum CNC Plasma Software buttons. Thank you for watching.